Hi, it's Heather, and welcome to today's class focused all on yoga for a healthy back. So if you tend to experience any tension or are looking for some pain relief, especially in your low back, this is going to be a great class for you. Let's all begin by laying down on our backs in the center of our mats. So slowly roll down onto your back. And from here, bring both knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. And then just start to rotate your knees in little circles in one direction. And then switch directions. And then gently drop down both soles to the mat. Both palms come face down on either side of you and lift up the hips. For a baby bridge here. Try to keep some nice amount of space in between your chin and your chest, just so that you're not digging your chin into your chest. And then drop the hips. Bring the right knee into the chest and then flex through that foot. See if you can reach the outer edge of the foot. If you can't, that's totally fine. You can just grab onto your ankle here and then bring this right knee to the outside of your armpit. Left hand can just rest onto the left hip and left sole stays on the floor. Just going to stay here for about three breaths. And then release this right foot, cross the right ankle over the left knee. And option two, keep it here. If your hips are really tight, then Please feel free to stay here. It could also be a reason that you might experience back pain. There's tight hips, so it's always great to try to loosen them up a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you want to take it deeper, lift up the left sole, thread both hands through this little keyhole here, <laughs> and reach for the back of the left thigh. Gently release, uncross, but bring this right knee back into the chest, straighten through the left leg, and then use your left hand to guide your right knee up and over to the left side. Right arm can come face up to the right side of you, and you can look up or towards that right palm. Come back to center. Bring both soles back to the mat, just resetting. Palms come to the floor, and you know what comes next. Lift up the hips. Just like before. Lower them down, and then bring the left knee into the chest, just switching sides. Flex through that foot, and then see if you can grab a hold of the outer edge of it. Again, if you can't reach, then you can just grab onto your ankle and bring that left knee out to the outside of the armpit.
From here, release the foot or the ankle. Cross that left ankle over the right knee. And if you stayed here on the other side, feel free to do the same here as well. If you wanted to take it deeper, lift up that foot, thread the hands through, and grab a hold of the back of the right thigh. So when you're here, try to make sure that you're not um, tensing up through your shoulders or tensing up through your jaw. You really want to relax everything into the mat. It's a good indication too. If you find that your head is really lifting off the ground trying to reach, then maybe go back to lowering this right foot down. From here, you can lower it back down. We'll all do it together. And then bring this left knee into the chest, straighten through the right leg, and use your right hand to guide that left knee up and over. Left hand comes palm face up to the other side of you. And release both knees into the chest last time just to turn to one side and help yourself up to seated. Come to a tabletop position with me in the middle of your mat, bringing shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and just send the hips straight back to the heels. Forehead comes to the mat. One breath here. And then on your next inhale, inhale, come up, lift up everything, back to that tabletop, and then drop the stomach. So carrying the inhale and exhale to round the back and send it back to that child's pose, hips to heels. Let's try that again. Inhale, lift up the hips, drop the belly, and exhale round and send it back. You can do a few more of these in your own time, linking up the inhales with the lift and the stomach dropping, and the exhales with the rounding of the back and sending those hips back. And one more wherever you're at. So on your next inhale, come to meet me just in a neutral tabletop at the top here. And then walk both hands forward. Come to drop the hips and land on your stomach. Gracefully if possible. <laughs> and forehead to the mat. Hands come underneath the shoulders, and from here we're going to engage the legs. So what I mean by this is turn those thighs on, lift up the kneecaps from the floor, but tops of the feet are going to stay on the floor. Inhale, lift up the chest. Slight dip in the chin, and exhale, come back down. Inhale again, let's do that again. Lift up the chest, and then see if you can lift your hands just to hover above the ground. Now we know that we're using our core. Exhale, come back down. From here, take both hands to your low back, and we're going to do a little exercise. You can watch me for the first time if you would like. On the next inhale, we're gonna send the right hand forward and up as we lift the chest, and at the same time, send the left leg up as well. So inhale. Lift up the chest, the right arm, and the left leg, nice and slow. On the exhale, send it down, and that hand comes to the low back. 
Now let's switch sides. Inhale, send the left hand up, right leg up, and exhale down. Let's do that two more times on each side. Inhale, right hand this time, lifts up, left leg up, and slowly drop it down. Inhale, left hand up, right leg up, exhale down. Last one uh, on each side. <laughs> Inhale, lift up the right arm, the left leg, slight dip in the chin, exhale, down. Last one for real. Inhale, left arm comes up, right leg comes up, and exhale down. From here, you can release the hands from the low back, but leave them on your sides. This is the last thing we're gonna do here on the stomach. Inhale, lift up the shoulders and the chest, lift up both hands. Now, if you want, you can try to take it deeper by lifting up both feet. Lift, lift, lift from the hands, the chest, the toes. And then release into the mat. Curl those back toes under, hands come underneath the shoulders. Lift up the hips, the chest, and then the knees to send it to downward facing dog, all the way up. So if you need to, you can keep a nice generous bend in the knees here. Or you can straighten through the legs, so whatever is most comfortable for you today. And let's just pedal it out a little bit. Sending one heel to the floor, and then the other. And then finding a moment of stillness. Slowly walk both feet up towards the hands to the top of the mat. Feet or hips distance apart. And just hang out here in this fold for a moment. From here, I recommend keeping that little bend in the knees. And if you even want to hold opposite elbows, sway a little bit side to side. Please do so. And then inhale. Come up to a halfway lift. Spine parallel to the ceiling. Hands to shins. And then exhale. Place a bend through the knees. Come to sit down on your mat. You can take the hands a little bit behind the hips here, and then slowly begin to lean the torso back in space. Send one foot up and then the other so that your shins are parallel to the floor. And if you want, you can even take your hands to hold the back of your thighs or send them to each side. For three, two, and one. Come down, great job. Send one foot in and then the other, just coming to seated. I'm just gonna turn towards you, but please stay where you're at. And then inhale, send both hands up. And exhale. Right hand comes to the left knee, left fingertips behind you. You can look back. Inhale again, send it up. Both hands come up. And exhale, switch to the other side. Left hand to right knee.
Slowly move the torso back to center. Hands can come to the knees. And let's just take a moment to close the eyes before we close out today. Take one big deep breath in. Fill your lungs. And sigh it out. And just know that you can always use this breath. Even use these sighs to release any tension that you may feel, not just in the back, but anywhere. So just take a moment to notice your body and where you might be feeling. Maybe a little more release. There's spots that you need to give a little more love as well. I salute you for showing up today, showing up for yourself. You can slowly blink the eyelids open when you are ready. And if you would like to take a traditional Shavasana, lying down on your back, palm, palms face up, please do so. Have a wonderful one. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Great job. If you enjoyed this video, then you're going to love the rest of my free seven day yoga kickstart challenge. Good for all levels, beginner friendly and no props needed. I made this challenge to help you work towards a daily yoga practice so that you can build strength, flexibility and mindfulness habits on and off the mat. But even better, if you'd like to take this challenge one step further, then download my free 28 day kickstart calendar with four full weeks of yoga all laid out for you. All you need to do to get access to this calendar is click the first link in the comments down below, enter your name and email, and I'll send you the kickstart calendar right away. Now, if you enjoyed today's class, let me know by clicking the like button down below, commenting on how it went for you, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload another free practice. Have a good one. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun.